Once I saw a student with tears in his eyes outside the examination hall, not because he wasn't well prepared, but he was simply late to the examination center. He didn't reach the examination center on time. So no matter how well you're prepared, the most important thing will remain same, that you reach the examination center before the reporting time. And ideally, it should be 30 minutes before the reporting time. Even if possible for you, reach the examination center a day before, see how much time does it take to reach the examination center, what kind of traffic is there, what kind of scenario is there, and try to visualize and imagine the entire scenario that what all processes will take place, how are things going to happen, and you should have this complete clarity so that you can visualize and prepare for this entire day in advance. And when it comes to taking care of things, for example, what all should you carry for the examination, then of course the most important thing will be the admit card, the original admit card, the color copy of it. And of course, with that, a valid ID. Valid ID means your Aadhaar card, the best thing, or driving license, or PAN card, or passport. And color copy is not considered the original copy. Original copy means the original one, the original ID. A lot of centers don't accept the photocopies or the color copies of it. So do ensure that you carry the original I card with you, along with some photographs if possible. And yes, with that you can carry a ball pen, a blue ball pen. And any undertaking, if you are a, any special can, specially abled candidate or if any special undertaking is needed to be taken by you, then yes, of course, with that. And when you reach the examination center, try to reach there at least 30 minutes prior to the reporting time so that you can let things happen smoothly. The whole idea is to keep things simple, to keep things sorted so that you can stay focused on what is important. At the examination center, the entire staff out there is there to assist you, to help you in going through that process as smoothly as you can. But yes, that day is already such a tiring day with its process and all those things that it may make you, it may make you fall or get tired before the real examination begins. A lot of things happen there. And mentally and physically you are already tired, you are already damaged. So yes, <clears throat> the most important thing is, or even more important than last minute revision will be that you should have been slept well. A well slept mind, a well slept body is more efficient and effective than a brain which has been craving for the, or, you know, during the last minutes as well. Do remember that. Even if you are revising, revising the chapters at last minute, if you are going through the short notes, don't try any new chapter, don't look at any new chapter, that will make you go confused. So stay calm, stay cool, stay composed. If that is the learning which I could share with you, the only crux will be, crux will be this only. A famous cricketer once has said this, that all the teams are equally you know, competent. They have equal potential. The only team which handles the pressure well wins the match. And that's the differentiator. So all these students out there are almost equivalent to you. They have prepared almost same as you. So if you are cool, if you are calm, if you are composed, if you don't panic, then of course, a lot of things will happen in your favor, will actually take place in your favor. And by worrying, you can actually make things more complicated. I hope you're getting my point. Why should you deteriorate it unnecessarily? So you should simply accept what is coming on your way. What is your, in your hand is that you can prepare accordingly. You can prepare and keep things arranged and organized so that things happen smoothly. And they don't get complicated and they don't confuse or pressurize you or panic you or make you anxious. Even during the day, uh, dress simply, you know, wear simple clothes, wear comfortable clothes. They don't make any arrangement where you can put your things safely. So don't carry any valuables with you. For example, any jewelry or any ornaments or even metallic items, for example, belt or wallet, they'll ask you to remove them. They ask you to remove the sandal and sleepers as well. So simply wear the standard basic things. Avoid carrying anything unnecessary there. And when it comes to carrying anything eatable inside the examination hall, no, you're not allowed to. It is, this rule is basically an exception for the diabetic candidates. If you're diabetic, then of course you can carry uh, 
sugar, uh, no, not candies like that or packaged drinks or packaged items, but you can carry fresh fruits that too unpacked and a water bottle, which is the transparent one. And yes, uh, digital watches are definitely not allowed anything like calculator or something like that. You all know that these things uh, are considered as unfair means. So they are definitely prohibited. But yes, uh, even at some centers, they uh, refrain you from, you know, wearing an analog watch as well. They have this facility of clock in the examination hall. So they will ask you to remove it. So avoid carrying anything valuable as mentioned earlier. And do remember that you should stay cheerful. You should stay calm. You should stay focused. I'm not asking you to get serious, but be sincere. Even during the examination hall while writing the exam, uh, take care of things. Don't do anything stupid there. For example, you are talking to someone else. You are looking into someone else's screen. All the tools are there on your system only. For example, if you wish to magnify the screen, if you wish to uh, put on the dark, turn on the dark mode, or if you want to enable the mouse trail so that you can uh, identify where the mouse pointer is. All these some tools are there. No calculator is allowed, of course, even on the on screen calculator is not there in G means. So do remember that don't do anything stupid. And stay there, sit there unless you're asked to leave. They'll give you a rough sheet where you can uh, solve all do all those calculations. And of course, you're asked to return these rough sheets. And yes, even during the examination, you will ask to before the examination, before the exam starts, you'll ask to go through a lot of things. Your thumb impression will be taken, your photograph will be scanned, a lot of things will happen. So be mentally calm and prepared for all that. Don't make it unnecessarily complicated. The idea is keep things simple, sorted, so that you can focus on what is important. The most important thing out of all this is that yes, this day is important. But don't make this day as the only important day in your life. Yes, all what you have done in your life, based on that, you will get the returns in your life. You will get the results in your life. But don't rely solely on this day that this day will decide your destiny. You have been working really hard and your mindset, your attitude, your preparation, your hard work during life, during entire life will decide what you will do, not just this day. So take care of it. With that, I wish you all the very best. Take a good care of yourself.